Hello everyone and a warm welcome. We're at the King Power Stadium in the East Midlands for this one. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Leicester City up against West Ham United. Thanks Derek as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel begins in goal. Yannick Vestergaard plays with Chalar Suyunchi in central defence. Yuri Tiedemans plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And beginning the game up front is Jamie Vardy. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, no surprise really, they're matching up here but there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. Thank you for attending the game at the King Power Stadium. Enjoy the match. is underway. Lookman and a throw in forthcoming. Said Ben Rama. And well, he's given us away. And that pass could be troublesome. Or could it get wide from there? A pity, really. They might be able to get in now. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. In the right place to cut out the pass. Antonio. Jared Bowen. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Forced into the penalty area. Clattered away. Vardy. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Madison. Vladimir Kuval. Jared Bowen. Encouraging move from West Ham. Lanzini! And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. to react to the setback Justin Zeyuncu 
The Foxes moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. And he whips it in. Well, thumped clear. He's given us away. Madison. Here's Tielemans. Ndidi. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, as you can see, West Ham haven't had that much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Lanzini. Oh, could it be Antonio? And a touch of finesse. Oh, it's just over. So unlucky. Well, it's a cheeky attempt, but it just doesn't come down in time. James Madison. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Tielemans. Now Ricardo Pereira has it. Leicester now in a potentially dangerous position. The clearance wasn't decisive. Danger averted for now. Said Benrama. Well, no stopping him. And that is going to be a free kick. dealt with that ball played in rather well so two minutes of stoppage time here and since they have the ball the referee playing advantage here Vardy Lukman superb block and the whistle is sounded for half time in this game And he more than did his job in the first half, Manuel Lancini. What did you make of his performance? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Into the second half then, West Ham with the advantage, but certainly no room for complacency. Justin Chalar Zayunchu Here's Adamola Lukman The ball back with West Ham now Now can they counter clinically Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that?
So a personnel change then. Number 10, Manuel Lanzini, to be replaced by number 8, Pablo Fornals. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, the danger is still there. And putting his body on the line. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Who's going to get on the end of it? Still not clear. Blocking it. And a time for composure on the ball. Well, there you have it. Leicester have controlled most of the possession, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better... It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, while the move in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So, 2-0 now. Number 8, Pablo Fornos. Continues his run. Fine cross into the middle. Well, it didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. For Niles. Jared Bowen. Chance to play it in. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Substitution for West Ham United. Here it is now, a substitution. Number 20, Jared Bowen, coming onto the pitch. Number 7, Andrew Yarmolenko. Tielemans. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Moving into the advanced position. They couldn't maintain possession. And they know they need to stop him. Oh, good play, this. He's played it over to the near post. Not the best clearance. Defensive excellence there. He's driven in the corner. And problem solved for now. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Barnes. Can he play it in? Vardy. Superb block. Just cutting off the supply. Said Benrama. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. Antonio. And just over the bar. Excellent effort it was. And the substitution will occur now. 
Number 28, Thomas Sarcher, to be replaced by number 16, Mark Noble. Justin. Well, nicely cut out. He read the situation defensively and did his job. James Madison. Harvey Barnes. He's found a pocket of space. And delivered into the box. Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Yarmolenko. Craig Dawson. Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. Barnes. Chance here. Well, there goes the final whistle. And really annoying for Leicester and their fans. Not at their best. And three points dropped. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Well, Pablo Fornals, as you can see, being followed around by our cameras on the back of a terrific individual performance. Stuart, put it into context for us. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.